accepted other issues. We started a long time because Ghana, we, 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 we accepted who's in the two years back. And then we started picking camp in August. So we had only three months to prepare. And so we had, we had, we knew, and then we saw that uh, the local players that we have, because of the absence of the league, they were, they were not you know, all that in shape. So we have to invite all the professionals. These are the professionals we, uh, you know, identified, monitored, and brought down. And they have spent three, three, almost three weeks with us. It means three weeks preparing a whole team of uh, 11 professional players. They have to bring their professionalism into bed. But because uh, some of them have just gone there and some have, it will take some time so that we'll never do. So yes, it, it is painful. First of all, me, uh, it is very, very painful to me. It is very painful to the girls because even the first qualifying uh, bonus that will scale them into the semifinals will push them very, very high. And they have, they, have, they have lost all. They won't tell you you won one match, so take winning bonus, because it is all about qualifying bonus. So it also pains them. It pains me, it pains everybody, and it pains Daniels. So it means we have to put our asses together and see how we can rejuvenate the, 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 the female football and move ahead. Coach, are you going to resign? Oh, I don't think so. I, I don't, I've, not, I've not done anything that I should resign. If I've committed any blunder, Yes, I will willingly. My job is to come and coach them, play tournament. And if we play, I don't think if you take 32 teams to World Cup, 31 will resign. And you may only one, one, because one person will win. I don't think that is the, that is the issue. Somebody appoint. Coach, let's focus on the performance of the, the team itself. Um, in the three matches, you scored just one goal from open play. And that the chances come and you are not able to convert. As a striker brought down to come and do that job, it is painful, it is disappointing. But you don't have to take anything away from them because um, not all chances are scored. Even in the big, big, big European League, boys, not all chances are scored. But sometimes we want maybe minor, minor, or maybe clear chances to be. So it means we have to do a little more work on how to get good strikers. As for the method, it, was, it wasn't bad. Uh, their, their tackling, their position, their distribution wasn't bad. But uh, it's up to the one who finish, who finish. So we have to cast. Uh, for me, uh, I think they have done marvelously well, starting from when he, uh, they approved the budget for the regional tour, they approved budget for the international match, they approved budget for everything. And everything that the girls need, they provided it. And uh, all the motivation needed for them to be given. And so it was up to them to, to, to even perform. If it were to be money-wise, they proved to us that even the money will be brought to this place. Immediately we qualify, they will come there and share their monies to them, of which I don't want to disclose because it pains them. And it pains me, it pains everybody. I've said it, that we, we accepted hosting this tournament two years back. Two years. And we started camp in August. So you know, I am not I'm not saying it's early or it is late or this. Thing. And then we went to uh, Zambia for our first international match. And then uh, you know how we went. Uh, we went with uh, 15 first and then we added with eight. So that was what we started preparing for the, this professional. They have done well. To me, they have done very, very well. Uh, uh, it pains them. They didn't come here to lose or draw. They came in to win because they had a lot of things to, to pick from this tournament. So I think uh, it's, it's, it's rather unfortunate. That is why I started by saying that God knows best. At a point in time, the result in Cape Coast were communicated to us that the uh, Algerians were leading to. We told them, and they were, they were eager to add their talent. They fought and fought, and they didn't come. And the, the goalkeeper made a mistake, and they capitalized on the mistake. Yes, they have equalized. So we don't have anything to do again. Coach, what positives can you take away from this tournament? Well, uh, I think uh, we now have to sit down, go to the boardroom, and see what we can do best. And again, we've seen that there are areas that we have to strengthen in terms of uh, the department like goalkeeping, and then striking, 
these areas we have to look into it very well. And again, one positive lesson is that we have been able to put together first time the whole, the whole team being professionals. Are you, we, we want to build on it and see what we can do. Are you confident that the Ghana FA will be able to support women's football? And so if it is an eye open, it means we have to sit up. And then if it is the next one year or next two years, we have to start putting some things in place and see how best we can get good results. In fact, uh, playing draw with the Cameroon wasn't all that bad result, but we wanted to qualify. And because we, are not, we didn't qualify, that is why everybody is uh, disappointed, including myself. And so I think the way forward is what we have to do. Coach, one